welcome to my Wednesday rambling. I'll we'll take a few moments to reflect on some of the material that will form the basis for my homily, my message for this coming Sunday, the third Sunday of our Advent season. It'll be the fourth week of our series, It's a Wonderful Life, where we're looking at the attitude of radical gratitude, um, looking to see how we can further grow in our appreciation of the blessings that God gives us. Last weekend we looked at um, those people who were special in our lives. Um, Paul was talking to the Philippians, but he was also reminding us of who we should thank for the blessings and for the guidance we've received from them. This week we'd like to take it just a little bit further and uh, talk rather not just about um, receiving blessings but what does giving really mean for us? What does sharing those blessings uh, in the lives of others? The central figure in our reading this weekend is the story of John the Baptist. John was calling the people to a, a, a metanoia the word we use when we talk about a complete change of heart, turning our lives around and uh, starting afresh with a whole new direction. One of the challenges for the people of Israel at the time, the Jewish leaders, were they, they were convinced that by following the law, they were completely fulfilling what God was asking of them. But John was calling it to something new. They were being called to open their hearts to experience a new relationship with God, not the God who was separated from them, who was a com commanding and uh, demanding God, but a God who walked with them. We, were, we would call him Jesus, the God with us, Emmanuel, and that was the person that John was calling people to prepare for. Many of them didn't understand it, and so they completely went on their way doing what they thought was right. The relationship that God wants us to have with himself, with Jesus, is a relationship which is a personal relationship. A relationship that exists not because of what somebody else talks about, but because along the way we've actually, I've actually met and come into a friendship with Jesus. I know for most of us that almost sounds as if uh, it belongs to the language of my our Protestant brothers and sisters, people who speak about a relationship with Jesus in, in normal terms, but it has to be become something that we as Catholics are completely familiar with and completely comfortable with. It's not about waiting just to know the story of Jesus, it is knowing the person of Jesus. Pope Benedict made that point several years ago in one of his encyclicals. It was about knowing the person of Jesus, and we need to do that. It's not something you can learn by reading a book. It's not something you can learn by listening to others. It's something you learn by opening your heart, by allowing the risen Jesus to enter into your life, to be moved by the spirit of his love, to embrace and be embraced. So as John calls us to have a new heart, a change of heart. My prayer is that as we prepare for this, the third Sunday of our Advent season, you too may know the power and the love of Jesus the Lord, and that as you experience his mercy and kindness, you will grow deeper in your faith and in your love of God. I look forward to seeing you next week on my Wednesday ramblings, and to catch up with you in some form, both digitally or in person over these next few days. Take care and God be with you.